this is Joe. Here with this video, I would like to demonstrate uh, how you can simply set up a, a sensor network using a Raspberry Pi, a Node-RED, and a Amazon Cloud RTS, uh, which is my SQL. Okay, uh, here on my computer screen, you can see here, this is a Raspberry Pi. I'm using it. To receive the sensor data, which is temperature and humidity from DHT22, which is AM2302 uh, temperature humidity sensors. So I use this uh, node red icon to receive the DHT22 data. Okay, I point to this physical pin, pin 18 here. Okay, okay next, uh, I use pin 14 as a VCC since in my Raspberry configuration, I don't have any more a VCC uh, output, so I borrow this pin for it to uh, output digital high states. Okay, other than that, as for the ground for my DHT22 sensors, I directly plug into the Raspberry Pi. Okay, okay next, I uh, firstly I use the inject uh, input from here. Okay, so basically, every three seconds, I'm going to inject a uh, timestamps. To the DHC22. So every every three seconds I'll be reading a temperature humidity sensor. Okay, this is a message notes. So here I get it from this output. Okay, so basically this message note is reading the the received information from the DHC22. Okay, next I'm going to show this uh, sensor data onto the dashboard. So I wrote a, a very simple functions receive the payload. Payload is the temperature in is and after that I load it into the uh, dashboard uh, which is a page and uh, this is a chat uh, okay so the dashboard uh, can be get from here if you don't have the dashboard you can install the NPM package easily <clears throat> okay next here we have humidity so I receive humidity data so I receive humidity and pass it to payload after that the payload is fetched into the humidity uh, Gauge. This is a gauge and this is a chart. Okay, so this is what you can customize with the chartings. Okay, next I receive again the data uh, from the DHC22. After that, um, I, I wrote a simple um, topic message. After that, I return the message. And this message has been fed into the MySQL and PN node. So, this MySQL database you can use either local or AWS. For my case, I running on AWS RDS uh, instance. I'm running a MySQL uh, database here. So basically, uh, what you see here is uh, MySQL Web Punch. I directly link this to uh, IoT AWS. Okay, uh, so simply you can download this Web Punch free of charge from Oracle. So these are my data. Again, so this will fetch data from the AWS. Uh, RDS relation database system. This is the last data, now it's 146 to 146. This is my house, 29.4 degrees Celsius temperature. This is humidity. Okay. Okay, well, uh, let me bring you here. This is where you have to edit your database uh, information. So I will be showing this because some of my server information are there. So you can just simply uh, receive your Server URL, phone number, username, password. So I'll be showing here. You just simply click. Okay, you can cancel. Okay, next, to view your data in the dashboard, you can just simply go to IP address followed by 180 port and just type UI. It will bring you to this UI interface. You refresh uh, every three seconds. Okay, for this chart, you will, I assign it to every one hour display. So you show for hour. Okay, so with that, uh, let me end my videos. I hope you uh, at least uh, get the idea how you can use Raspberry Pi to receive the sensor data and upload to the uh, a cloud database. Okay, thank you for watching. Okay, bye.